Welcome to Live It, Love It, Ask It. This is a regular series that I run fortnightly in my Facebook group, Live It, Love It, Sell It. It's so much fun, it's live, it's risky because I don't know what questions people are going to bring. And if you want to take part, come and join the group. Live it, love it, sell it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so welcome everybody to Live It, Love It, Ask It. I love these. This is our third one. This is with the beautiful and fabulous Nancy Wilson, all the way over in the Netherlands. How wonderful. So this is a, a European Live It, Love It, Ask It. Um, and Nancy, I have no doubt, has prepared a question for me. I have no idea what the question is. We do have to say that because that's the whole fun of this. So as I always say every week, if I don't know how to answer the question, we'll have technical problems and we may have to go offline. <laughs> don't be silly. You know all the answers to every question possible. Nancy, you're too kind, and now that's put a bloody jinx on it, no doubt. <laughs> okay, so listen, Nancy, my beautiful, lovely lady, what question do you have for Live It, Love It, Ask It? Okay, so um, at the moment I'm um, quite busy and not been able to do much with my business. Um, I have a new product that I've been promising I want to launch. So I've decided today to take a bit of a break till after the wedding, the wedding, the wedding, um, and to um, come back after that and launch my new product. Um, so my question to you is, in your experience with sales, how would you promote or sell my new product launch? How would you go about it? OK. I love so this sense. question. Yes. Um, can I just ask, I sometimes have to ask a couple of questions back so that I'm really clear as to, you know, what this looks like. So you're going to have a break until uh, you've got married, which is, I think, yeah. three months time, you said, didn't you? Yeah. So does that mean you're going to do nothing on your business or you want to then start working towards this new product across that period? Well, I need to do something yeah. on, on my Facebook page. So anyway facebook instagram because otherwise i'm losing followers exactly exactly um, keep them up to date with i'm um, just wedding plans and i don't know what um <laughs> but i was thinking how i could use this time um to help me yeah as well yeah so, so I'm, I'm gonna build it up i'm gonna give them a date that the product will be launched yes so, so here's what I do. I would, um, Vicky says, amazing question. I would really make this a lot of fun. So I would create a teaser campaign about this product launch. So yeah. basically you can do this however you want, but because you're quite a creative lady, um, you, you link it to the, the product. So can you tell us what the product is yet? Or do you want to keep that a little bit of a surprise at the moment? No, um, I'm I'm making three dimensional houses. Oh, uh, my my thing is the house on the hill. That's what I'm quite well known for. Yeah. When people know my work, they know me for that. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to um, go into making three dimensional ones because I only do two dimensional at the moment. Okay. Okay. So I think it's all about trying to build the suspense and the excitement of this product launch. And that's the beauty of having a lead up to it. So if you know what the launch date is, which you've just mentioned, you're going to have a launch date. You can build a little what we call a little campaign, a teaser campaign in the lead up to that launch date. So you start to think about well, what sort of things can I start to post? And you can do it either with um, perhaps... Uh, clues you know so little tasters of what this might be so you're almost keeping people in suspense as to what the actual product's finally going to look like because the point is you want to keep them engaged you want them to keep waiting for the next clue so you almost make it you know you can make it like a treasure hunt type of thing you know where you keep finding various parts of the the lead up to the product. I mean, you're the creative here, so you'll think of what this could look like because it has to be right for you. But it's about being regular and consistent. 
So like you say, you've got this little time out that you're going to take, but actually you still need to be doing something and having a presence in that lead up. So do you schedule posts or do you do them yourself manually? I, yeah, I have done. At the moment, I've just stopped everything because it's been quite a hard time. Yeah. But now I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, I want to try and start scheduling again. Yeah, yeah. So you can start thinking about how often do I want to schedule? And then actually, what's the message I want to build up for people in the, the lead up to this product launch? And also, yeah. what's, what's their call to action? So what do you want them to do once you launch the product? So do you want them to go to a specific sales page and buy it? Or do you want them to uh, apply for a free sample or apply for, you know, whatever it might be? I'm talking hypothetically. You know, what do you want them to do? at the end of this little teaser campaign. So you imagine it, can't you? Like, I'm waiting now for the next thing that you're going to tell me. So it could be a picture of something. It could be a little subliminal message. But especially with Instagram, because that's very visual, isn't it, with pictures? Vicky said, I was just going to say like a treasure hunt. Yeah, so you could almost get them collecting elements towards a code that they could then use when they purchase the product to give them a, a small percentage of, of um, well, I don't like the word discount, Nancy, as you know, but you know, something, something off as a bit of a gift back, five pound voucher or a, whatever it might look like. So actually that's quite a nice one that the, the teaser campaign is about collecting a code that they could then use to redeem against buying that product once it's launched. That's a really good way to keep engagement because, you know, I guess I don't know what you have over there. I'm thinking you've got things like McDonald's. Dare I mention it? But even if you don't eat McDonald's, they're very renowned for some of their campaigns where they have collections and you, you've got to collect so many things to get something at the end of it. It's a very, very well-known marketing uh, strategy. So you Actually, that bit... The, co the collecting fits in quite well because I was talking to Joelle about, she was talking about something. I'm not quite sure what it was. Forgive me, Joelle. I do pay attention. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about um, bringing in um, collections. So to collect things. Yeah. To collect a range. I love that. And so you could do, uh, collect a range of something, but, but actually if it's then towards the launch, so it's something I can then use, be it, you know, like I say, something to redeem or, or something that adds value to the product when I buy it, whatever it looks like, then you've got me all the way through. So I'm going to start with you right at the beginning. I'm going to keep following the teaser campaign and then I'm going to have something at the end of it. So that's actually a real little piece of magic, that is. So, yeah, somebody, I think I need to see who that message is from because I've got um, Sam Adams. Sam Adams is watching. Vicky says, amazing question. Eleanor Gould is watching. Evening, Sam. There might be a bit of a lag on this. Um, Ellie Wilson's watching. Um, I was just going to say like a treasure hunt. Yeah, so I'm getting like the back now of this because this is just catching up here. But yeah, vouchers, the Eleanor says vouchers are a great idea. Ultimately, whatever it is you do, you need to have me right from the beginning, right through to the product launch. And so yeah. that I, I do not ever feel like I need to leave this because I've got to keep following because I want to know what the next thing is that happens. So I love this. I love teaser campaigns because they're so great. When you're a creative, you can really start something quite magic. And 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 would you um, what would your advice be to include my emailing uh, list? Could I include that in a? I'm not quite sure how I would do that. Well, it's the same principle, I think. And obviously, Eleanor's on with us, so she's kind of the uh, the the email queen. But again, you could do the same campaign element through an email. So let's say you did a weekly email. Do you use MailChimp or some sort of... Yeah. Yeah. So you could kind of set a, a weekly email that then gives them the next piece of the jigsaw or the next clue or the next piece of the code, whatever it is you decide to do. And you just send it on email. You publish it on your Facebook. You publish it on your Instagram. Same message. Then, of course, you're not having to keep writing loads of content as well. You just duplicate and repurpose the content. 
which is pretty yeah. magic because you're not in a position to want to be doing much in the lead up to your wedding. Yeah. So this is all coming together quite beautifully, isn't it? I like this. I like this a lot. I think the thing you've got to nail is what it is you're going to do. And I suppose really my gut feel, my instant gut feel, was some sort of code I could collect in order to redeem against that that first purchase of the product. That would be quite nice. And that's not a bad thing for you because you probably won't be at a loss. You'll just have a slightly less margin on it. So you don't make a loss or anything on it, but it's just that kind of complimentary first purchase on that that product range, for instance. Yeah. That would work. Right, so um, Vicky says you could ask them to sign up to your email to get a code. Yeah, so actually that's another way of getting people to join the email list that aren't already on it. Nice one. I like that, Vicky. I like that a lot. Um, Jean says, how long should a teaser campaign last? That's a really good question because um, actually what you want to make sure that, it, that you keep people engaged. So if it's over too long a period, then it might get a bit sort of, oh, come on. So actually, mm. I'm guessing like if we've got three months before you launch the product, personally, I'd probably do something maybe six weeks out. Possibly yeah. eight weeks at the most, but I think six weeks feels quite nice. Four to six weeks is kind of where I'm at with that. I'm not a marketeer, so I don't know, but that's my gut feel that that would be a good good place to start. And if yeah. you're going to do, say, um, if, let's say you're going to do a code that's six digits, then you could just do one a week. Or if it's clues to a treasure hunt to get, I don't know, decipher a code. You could do all sorts of things to make this interesting, Nancy. But I think if you started it perhaps six weeks out from product launch, then that, that's probably quite a good thing to do. It's a good question, Jean, um, because you don't want it to be too long because otherwise people can get a bit bored. You know, I get, again, put yourself in the shoes as a buyer. So think if you're the buyer, if you're the person following the campaign, you know. What do you want to see? How often do you want to see it? What's going to keep you interested in it? That's quite a good thing to do. Put yourself in their shoes. Yeah. What do you reckon, Nance? I'm, um, I'm writing everything down. Well, you said you couldn't, you didn't think that you could answer every question, <laughs> but I think you can. Well, I've got three out of three so far, but of course that's only our opinion that I've answered it well. You never know, do you? <laughs> Someone might have a better answer than me. But I just go with, I honestly go with my gut. I think, you know, actually, I think this is very cool and you could really make something of this. Um, yeah. Especially, as you say, with your email. That was a really good addition to add in that you use your email list as well. That's that's very cool. Because especially yeah, if you... It's not very big. It doesn't matter. It, I, want to, I want to increase it, so... Yeah, exactly. So you'll pull more people into that audience Let's have a look. Warm up your audience pre-campaign too. Okay, Eleanor, tell us more about that. So so in the lead up to, say, the six weeks, we'll call it, because I, I don't know if you agree, Eleanor, I'm thinking six weeks is quite a nice time to start the actual campaign. Eleanor's then saying you could potentially warm them up that the campaign's coming. So actually yeah. you could still tease them even more before you actually launch then the teaser, if that makes sense. So te yeah, tease the teaser. <laughs> Yeah, or to kind of tell them what's going to happen yeah. and, um, yeah. Yeah, what's to coming. To stay, stay tuned yes. for the coats coming yeah, soon. Exactly. And, um, you know, if you want to perhaps chat more to Eleanor about that in terms of email list, she's just a whiz on that stuff. She really is. I'm just volunteering your services, Eleanor. So, but, <laughs> um, but she is. It's what she does brilliantly. So she knows exactly how to use the email list. She's, uh, she's awesome at that. And I think that I think that all sounds like it's very, very exciting. And you know what else you could do? Because obviously we're in Live It, Love It, Sell It, aren't we? This is our group. Um, I'm also going to put this on YouTube. So anyone on YouTube, I'll put the link so that we can link them to sign up for your email list to join. Okay, so we can do that. But also right. in, in this group, I think anyone who's not connected to Nancy... Let's get you connected because you might want to follow this campaign and actually look at this product launch when it comes out. How exciting. Right, who's yeah. put this then? Uh, Jean's put, I second that. Georgine is on with us. Right, Eleanor says, or create content around the theme so you don't have to tell them exactly what is happening. Oh, so now she's getting very clever. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's getting into storytelling, isn't she? She's getting into storytelling. And, and why not? You know, because actually there'll be, this is nice, isn't it? Look what's evolved here in this question. I love this so much. There'll be a story as to why you're creating a 3D product. So yeah. you could even start touching on that, couldn't you? I've got yeah. lots of hearts coming up here, so I think we must be touching on some good stuff. But this is brilliant. And, and I also love it. where the houses come from. Yeah. Yeah. Originally. There's a story, isn't there? I know there's a story with this, Nancy. Brilliant, Eleanor. Thank you. Don't apologise. Sorry, LOL. What are you sorry for, you silly, silly thing? I was going to say silly ass then, but that's swearing. I'm not allowed to swear, am I? No, not on YouTube. No. <laughs> right. Vicky says you could give them letters, perhaps, that spell out a sentence to do with the product. So you said you are known for the house on the hill. So Vicky's getting all creative here. I love this. Maybe split those letters up or jumble the words up, and those are the letters that they have to find. Fabulous. It does make sense, even though you have a funny head, Vicky. <laughs> I think I saw that about Vicky's funny head. That's just, we can't even, that's just not nice, is it? Um, Eleanor, no. Eleanor Gall said, origin stories are powerful. Absolutely, Eleanor. I think you probably taught me that, to be fair. But they are, you know, people like to know where these ideas come from. And when there's a story behind it, it's even more wonderful, I think. So, yeah. gosh, I really liked this question this week, Nancy. Hey, you should have me on more often. I know. <laughs> well, we might do. Well, I think once you're married and you're sorted, then um, you should definitely come on my podcast. We should do that, shouldn't we? We should do that. That'd yeah. be nice, wouldn't it? I'd like that. Vicky says, I'm so excited for this. It will be amazing. I think I'm going to have to join in as well. I think I want to play. Vicky's brilliant. She's so <laughs> enthusiastic. Well, I think we all are. And I think that's the nice thing about the group. I love my group because I think we've got so much support in here, haven't we? It's like one great big collaboration, isn't it? Don't you think? Yeah, it's fabulous. That's why I like Live It. Love it, ask it, because even though you're asking me and I'm answering the questions, actually look at all the other things that come from yeah. it, just from the people listening in. It's amazing. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? My funny head, I'm lost, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> she says, I'm lost. I don't think she gets what you're on about. Maybe we'll it's leave not... that for off, off screen, you know? <laughs> no, she's pulling your leg. She's not lost. <laughs> she's, she's a smarty pants, she is. So, um, she no. She, she does, I agree. So, Nancy, have we answered your question for this week or is there anything else you would like to add or know to that question? No, um, I've got enough to be thinking about. <laughs> well, I think we're all quite excited to find out what you finally do with it. And I think, well, I'm hoping we'll all be signing up to it at least and find out what it all is. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Good. Excellent. So um, you send me your links as well, um, maybe on Messenger, and I'll make sure that they get all put on to this when, we, when I produce it for YouTube. All of the ladies listening, amazing you've joined us. I love this. Yeah, I, I really do. Well. Thank you so much. You've really added value to the conversation, haven't they, to, to tonight? Um, and obviously, if you want to sign up to Nancy's email list, then um, we will put the link below, won't we, Nancy? We will. Thanks for joining us on Live It, Love It, Ask It. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then please do. And don't forget to press the bell so that you get every notification of new videos loaded. Hope to see you again really soon. Take care and ta for now.